today I'm going to put the passion footwear to test and if you don't know about passion footwear their heels are actually convertible that's right you can take the heel off but the real question is are they comfortable I will let you know whether they are worth spending your money on let's get started If you're new here, my name is Vanessa and all I do here on this channel is talk about how you can have the most comfortable heels experience. And today we're gonna see where the passion footwear comes on the most comfortable heels chart. And this is a chart where I rate brands on their sizing, comfortability, and quality of the heels. At the moment, ASUS is at number one, Public Desire is at number two, and I really wonder if passion footwear can beat ASOS. So let me give you guys some details about the passion footwear. So the first time I've seen this brand was on Instagram and I saw that you could actually take the heel off and I was like that looks a lot like the meme at moi. I've reviewed them before you can actually take the heels off but this one is a little bit different because all you have to do is twist and pull and then your heel is off. When you open the box the first thing you see is the whole instruction how to get off the heel but honestly you could even do it without the instruction because you just have to twist pull that's it you could also swap the heel for flat in times of need when you are in discomfort and if you want to change the heel you can take the liver out of the heel and place it in the other heel you want to use pop them back in your heels twist again and then voila like this is so easy when i looked on the website they only have like four designs but it's very um, customizable you can choose what type of heel you want to have on how high the heel height could be and i got the dorsey in sangria red it costs 185 um, dollars but the stiletto with it as well and the shipping was 52 euros and 95 cents my total was 243 euros and 85 cents so it came in after 10 business days i did not have to pay any duties so i was like super super happy and it came with the three inch heel and the heel automatically comes with like a like a plastic flat that you can pop in the heel i bought a size 10 the website um advised me to size down but then i was like wait hold on i have wide feet i don't want to size down because i'm afraid that if i size down it will not be wide enough because passion footwear do not offer wide fit heels so i was like let me just stay and buy the size 10. If it's gonna be big, that's gonna be my mistake, whatever. I think I already gave you enough information about these heels. I'm gonna try them on and let you guys know how they feel. So I just tried on these heels, the passion footwear, and let me just start with all the positive. It actually got a lot of positives. Number one thing I like about the passion footwear is obviously it's easy to take off and just pop them back in. When you look at the midsole, you can actually see that the midsole is super thick. The midsole runs all the way to the ball of the feet and you could really feel that. So it feels really thick. When I was wearing these heels, I noticed that the insole was so thick. So the insole added that nice layer for me, so it didn't feel painful when I was walking in these heels. Another thing I really like about these heels is that it has a rubber outer sole, so no slipping, no sliding, or being afraid of breaking your neck because the rubber outer sole gives grip to the ground, so that's a very good thing. Okay, then now, now it's time to start with the bad things. Not the bad things, but the... Uh, they could have done better number one is when i was looking at the heels the first thing that i noticed was like a like a fold in the heel when you make shoes you fold the leather 
at the back here and then you nail it down if you don't do it in a in a good way you could see the lines in here so that's like a rookie mistake when it comes to shoemaking i'm so happy i can say that right now by the way if you don't know i'm learning how to make shoes right now i'm going to give you guys an update by the end of the video so you definitely have to keep on watching this is a rookie mistake and for a pair of heels that cost more than 200 euros at least with everything I bought and with the shipping. I'm kind of disappointed that I'm seeing the fold right here. I'm expecting quality. I'm expecting flawless designs. So that was a thing that made me think, hmm, these heels are not really of high quality. Okay, another thing I noticed with the pair of heels is that the width is not really wide enough. It wasn't wide enough and I think a brand like Passion Footwear, they want women to have a comfortable heels experience. So it would be logical for them to also offer wide fit shoe sizes. Girl, if you have like extra wide feet, this design, you're gonna have a bad time because this area is not really wide enough. Okay, so here's a big con for me. When I took the heel off and put on the flat, my feet looked extra wide extra long it just it didn't even look flattering maybe i am exaggerating but from my perspective and the way i was looking down at my feet i was like uh -uh, i don't know mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. it didn't look good at all when you get the the passion heels they explain to you like yes we know when you wear the flats it's gonna look a little bit crazy but after after a week it's gonna look good so i don't know maybe after a week it's gonna look good but when i was wearing those flats it, it didn't look good to me at all my feet look crazy next to that i also have to say the stiletto was kind of wobbly i know stiletto don't feel as balanced as block heels i know there is a difference but with this stiletto kit i notice an imbalance next to that the stiletto had a crack in the heel that's a quality issue let's review the passion footwear let's see where it comes on the most comfortable heels chart the fact that the heels are easy to take off is a huge bonus for me i like how convertible the heels are and how you can switch styles next to that the thick insoles offer a good foundation for the ball of your feet which is something very important if you wear heels but if i look at the quality i'm kind of disappointed Pointed. Especially if I take a look at the fold in the point and the crack in the heel, that is something that you wouldn't expect for something that you paid a lot of money for. I think they paid a lot of attention when it comes to comfort, but they are missing very important factor. They do not offer wide fit shoes. Nowadays, like so many women, we have big, flat, wide feet and we need to have options. And if a brand like Passion Footwear don't offer options, that's gonna take a whole star away. In this case, the cons almost outwear the pros, but I can't deny the technology. So I'm definitely giving the Passion Footwear three stars which puts them on number six. They could have had a higher weight if they offered wide fit shoes because all the brands above them offer them. So, uh, are you guys like, do you understand why I'm giving these rates to passion footwear? Please let me know in the comment section what you think of this video. What do you think of the passion footwear? I think the passion footwear is definitely worth spending on if you really have a hard time when it comes to wearing heels. And after like 10 minutes, you cannot handle it anymore. Then the passion footwear would be the perfect solution for you. If you are someone, you walk a lot on heels and you sometimes you just need to have like a 30 minute break of wearing heels, the passion footwear will be good for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh wait, before I'm gonna turn off, let me give you guys a little update on the shoes that I'm making right now. So at the moment, I'm laying the finishing touches on the heels. I'm working on the midsole and also on the upper work. I just hope it comes together and doesn't look crazy in the end. Honestly, that even doesn't matter because I'm just happy I started this course. So soon, I'm also gonna start with my next pair of heels. So please let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas on what I should make next. So thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell if you like to see me pop up on your timeline. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys the next time. Bye.